Today I am proud to offer my second Mustang ever, 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1, 351 4 barrel Cleveland motor, so 351 Cleveland, 4 speed manual trans. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, drive it, so if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. i got a couple other Mustangs coming soon, uh, so here we go. Like I said, a 1970 Mach 1 finished in its factory correct color of dark ivy metallic with black interior. Real nice car. Like I said, happy to have it. Um, I'll point out any flaws that I do see, like I said, so, um, you know, right here off the bat, there's a little chip and a little tiny crack in the paint. And then just a little bit of, a little bit of roughness on this little edge here. It's the same thing on that side, funny enough, so it's probably a little susceptible on this kind of, kind of a car to this area getting that. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm not really seeing anything else. Looks like a little stone chip right there. And the Marty report for it. It's included all the picture of that on the ad. You can see all the factory original options and whatnot that the car did come with. Uh, both turn signals in the hood, they work. The front bumper looks to be in excellent condition. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I mean, there's one little mark right there, but other than that, excellent. Uh, they look to be new tires and wheels, and the front disc brake conversion, I don't know if you can see that, that's brand new. Um, and the control arm for it is new too. Um, so it looks like that, that lower control arm and um, the front disc brake was brand new for the car. Um, a little chip right there. All that Mach 1 trim on the bottom. Pretty good condition, you know, a couple of marks on it throughout, you know, low to the ground, stone chips fly up and hit it. Um, I love those wheels though. Glass is super nice. And the dash pad has no cracks on it. I know there's a little guy right there. A little mark in the paint right there. And then a little bigger chip right there. About an inch and a half long. Another little mark right there. And then as always, I think it's this kind of body style Mustang. This trim always gets pitting on it. I have a 69, same thing, I'm going through that. It's got the same little pitting right there. I don't know what it is. Maybe because moisture comes and hits it. I don't know. However, interior is super nice. Nice door jam as well. Looks to be like some kind of an original tag. And actually after the door, I'm going to close it where I'm going to show you the engine. Door panel is excellent. Uh, again, a nice door jam up there carpet's nice on this and again relatively nice door jam moving a little out of the ordinary here because I kind of I forgot okay. there you go let me see how I do this nice and easy aluminum radiator 351 Cleveland with the four barrel carb power steering car. It's manual brakes, but with the front disc conversion, that is new. Underhood looks nice, probably original, I'm not sure. Could be the original matte, pretty in a presentable condition, as well as you see some of those original stampings underneath that. And then cool enough, it has its buck tag in place. Pretty cool to see. You don't see that. And my mechanic told me the same thing, he's a Ford guy. He said, oh my gosh, he's like, that's in place. He's like, they're so hard to decode. He's like, you know, people threw them out because he said they weren't as important, but cool to see. I'll leave the hood open on that. You hop in the car, excellent carpet with those like built-in luxurious carpet mats that super nice. A little custom steering wheel with the horse on it. I mean, as far as custom go, this might be 
the only thing. I'm sure the four speed, this shifter, that's probably not super original, but presentable. Nice to shift it. Rather have a four speed than an automatic. Dash is nice. There's the clock. Nice radio. Even the wood grain on the dash is super nice. Excuse me. Seats are excellent too. There's no rips on them, either one. And uh, same goes for the uh, back seat here. Headliner is nice, other than it looks like this was sewed together a little differently. It must have came undone, but I got a brand new headliner that goes with it. So, I mean, presentable, yes, if you want to have it fresh like the rest of them, brand new one for you. That's included. Top of the car is nice. Back window is nice. Just a little bit of dust on there from sitting out here. I think I just saw a couple, two little marks right there, super tiny. Body is straight and nice. Rear bumper is excellent, so I'm assuming the front and rear bumpers were replaced at the same time. A new gas tank, and I'm pretty sure the fuel lines are new, and along with redoing the front brakes, I think all the brake lines are new. I think you'll, you'll, you'll probably see it in the pictures of the underneath. But when I was under, underneath it, I saw all new lines. Okay. And this section, as far as trim and whatnot, very nice. Here's a little touch-up right there. A couple stone chips down here, low. Um, again, back tire kicks them up. little mark right there on the paint. And again, same thing on this side, you get a little bit of that pitting. I don't know what it is, because this doesn't have it. It could be the material that it's made out of too, makes it more susceptible. Original sticker in there. Nice door panel, I would say it matches the driver's side and condition equally. As well as the door jam, which is also in nice condition. No no rot and um, a lot of chips on it. So it's nice to see. Again, excellent seat, just like the front. Super comfortable, actually. will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay both links will be in the description of this video so please don't comment how much is it because i know you haven't watched it this far and um i'm not going to tell you if you know it and if you're interested you'll watch the video long enough to find out two little chips if you're here from ebay thanks for watching and checking out the car and uh if you are here from youtube thanks for watching and if you are interested from either area that you found the video uh, you know how to contact us we'll get back to you as soon as we can so we're gonna fire it up now and then we'll drive it around the block you can see it run and uh, see it drive so here we go all right here's the 351 cleveland with the four barrel carb um you see the power steering pump down there and the aluminum radiator and we're going to fire it up now. 